Have you ever wondered how to structure a landing page or a home page? In this video, I'm going to show you how to structure a landing page from scratch so that you can apply this to your next project, whether you're working on a home page, a landing page, or if you are just experimenting. So if you are interested, let's dive in. Before we get into Figma, I want to show, talk to you a little bit about the goals of a landing page because sometimes they are different from a basic homepage. So most likely you're going to be creating a landing page to be able to support an ad campaign or a specific campaign that your client or your company is going to be launching. And all these pages that you may create are going to have specific goals. Some are to create conversions, Let's say someone is trying to book a demo, so you're gonna create pages or landing pages with the idea of book getting more demos. You can also be creating a landing page, for example, for a webinar that's coming up, so you want people to sign up for it. You can even create a landing page for a specific product that you want to push on your website. So these are just ideas of things that you can be creating landing pages for and sometimes you may have a very long landing page like what you may see on click funnels for example a lot of their templates are quite long there's a lot of reading there's a lot of um, content on it because they are also ranking for seo or you may have something that is like a squeeze page per se where it's just like a hero um, you do not really get to scroll anywhere as soon as you go to this page you're going to see uh head end of some paragraphs, some benefits, and on the right side, you might see a form. Okay guys, so now that we are here, let's think about the structure of a landing page. And this is going to be um, a little bit different sometimes from a home page, as I said before, because on a landing page, sometimes one of the things that we may try to do more is to get more social proof on our web landing pages so that people feel more comfortable going to the next step. Again, it all depends on what you are trying to achieve. On this one, we are just trying to showcase the product. It's going to be a one page website. So we sort of want to make sure that as the user scroll through this page, they are going to get all the information they need to be able to move to the next step. So with every other website or every other page, we are going to start with a nav bar. Um, we're going to keep it very minimalistic because we only want certain actions on this nav bar. So most likely we're going to be looking at a solutions tab, our link, um, features, uh, maybe resources or pricing actually. I think it would be the best one for this. And then as someone sees in nav bar, the most important thing is the hero. And this is what in marketing you might hear a lot about above the fold. And it is because you want to be able to tell your users or your target audience that's coming into this website, pretty much what it is that you do, how you make their lives better, and how they can move forward to the next step. Once they have been able to figure that out and understand what it is that you do and how you make their life better, then we want to push them down a little bit. And now we're going to either describe their pain points and mix them with our benefits, or you can just describe your benefits on how you, these benefits are affecting their lives to make everything easier, less time consuming, or whatever it is that the benefit that your products create. And then after that, we have already told them all the benefits. Now we want to sort of strengthen that with our products or our features. So here is where we'll be describing the different features that our product has and how it benefits them. So you have to be able to create this connection um, because once they see this, they will see how the product works and how it benefits them. And then now here, we want to start bringing social proof because we already told them all this. Now they want to hear from actual people who bought this product or this service, um, how they felt about it. And the whole idea with a testimonial or what will make a good testimonial is if someone can read it and be able to feel like they want to experience what that person experienced. And then once we have achieved the testimonials, now they feel like, okay, well, I want to achieve what that person is going through. Now I want to figure out how to do it. And the how to do it part is normally three or four steps that someone has to take to be able to move on to the next step. And I wouldn't recommend more than three. Uh, anything more than three is a bit difficult to handle. And then now they know how to do it. Now we're gonna hit them with the pricing. And the pricing here, we're gonna have our different options, um, make it super easy for them to buy from this. And then we want some more testimonials, just like, okay, well, some people may say like, okay, the price is a little high, but look at how these people are feeling, right? 
I wouldn't mind paying for this if I'm going to be feeling like this person is. And then we have our FAQs, pretty much just answering any questions that this person may have. And then we hit them with the last offer or the best offer. That's just to make sure like if they didn't click on here on any pricing, then they're most likely, or there's a chance that they will click here. And right after that, we have our footer or our drawer. Um, as you might have heard, it's pretty much any link that does not belong on top here, right? Because you want this to be very specific. So now if you think about it, okay, we have this whole structure. Let's think about it on a low fidelity wireframe. So here we have our content. Um, anywhere you see stuff like this is going to be images. But I just wanted to show you a bit of an example of what this can look like. So as you can see, we have our nav. We have our logo. We have our three um, links that we want to click on. Solutions, features, and pricing. Um, they need to be able to log in into this website. <clears throat> And they need to know that they can get started for free. And then we have our hero content. So we pretty much are giving them exactly what we, it is that we do. And then we're saying that, you know, it doesn't matter what the size of the company is, this software will take care of them. Um, we, again, we tell them how to get started, that they can do it for free. Give them a special offer, give them a special offer here, showcase the product. And then we jump in into the problems. Um, that's what we chose for this one. So remember we say pain points or benefits. So here we have a mix of the two. So it's sort of talking about their problems, but also how this software can, be, um, they can use it to benefit themselves. Then we have our solutions, which is the features that we have. And you can see here, we just paint, pointed out the main five, I think it is, yep, the main five features um, that most of their clients are looking to get. Um, there's a lot more, but they were not as important as this five from what we found. And then we have our customers and the customers in this one, we chose, we're going to be choosing like around six or more testimonials. So we kind of want them to show um, their experiences here. <clears throat> and then we have our, how it works steps. We have an image here. Again, like all this is going to eventually be product images. Um, and then here's just like three steps to get started. So like once they get started with this, they are going to be able to sync all the projects. They're going to be able to assign all their team members and they're going to be able to assign tasks and projects to everyone, to everything and get started. And then we have our pricing. Um, as you can see, super easy to read like different packages. We know that this is going to be the most popular one. We know that they just need to click here to subscribe and they will go over to the um, Stripe page um, or payment. We know that we want to give them like a monthly or yearly. And then we want some more testimonials. This part might be a video. It might be just a wide testimonial. We have all our FAQs right here, which are really great for SEO. And then we are seeing like, hey, you can actually do 14 days completely free. Um, you just have to get started. You click it. It will most likely send you to this or send you to another page. So that's it, guys. That's low fidelity wireframe. And then we have our footer. And then <clears throat> I'm going to move over here and we're going to move to the actual page. So this is the design. Now you can see how we took that low fidelity wireframe. We took that structure that I spoke about before and we started to create it into a website. You can see they can log in from here. You can see that this may be a drop down for them to be able to pick the different features that we have on the other sections. Uh, again, we are seeing that they have a seven days free trial. I think this should actually be 14 days free trial. Then we kind of showcase an uh, image of the product. Uh, we're not showcasing everything because we kind of want them to be feel like they want to find out more about what everything here looks like. That's why they most likely will click on this. Then we have our problems. We are creating them in a way that they are super easy and um, to digest and understand, but also have enough words or characters so that we can push this website for SEO purposes. <clears throat> and then we're talking about solutions. So as you can see, we, I changed the color of the background for this section. I just wanted to stand out a lot more because we're also gonna have images. We're also going to have tags. So you can see different hierarchies here um, of how I use tags and images together. <clears throat> and the idea is sort of to show them the product enough that they may want to be able to be like, okay, well, all this looks really good. Now I want to be able to use it on my own.
And then we have our testimonials here. And this is just an idea that we're working on. Um, it's just for it to sort of like scroll up because they actually have like so, so many testimonials. And I kind of want to use all these testimonials in a way that people can scroll through them and read them. Um, and then here we have our steps. Um, you can see everything's here. Everything is going to have an image. So like all of this, um, when someone clicks on each of them or when it scrolls from one to the next, this image will change. Then we have our pricing so people can choose yearly or they can choose monthly. Then we have all the FAQs. And again, the last section stands out a lot more because it's different from all the other ones. And it has the 14 days free trial and the ability to click on this and get started with the footer right here. So guys, that's pretty much how you should be structuring any home page or landing page. Um, things to keep in mind is making sure like if this landing page is going to be for like an ad campaign, make sure that the experience <clears throat> they have here, like content wise, it's similar to that of the um, ads campaign that's being created. So any ads imagery, like creative work that's been pushed out there or anything for like search um, ads, make sure that all that content goes into here so that when someone goes from your ads and then they come to this page, everything is related. It's not like a different sales or a different experience um, content wise. Um, if you're creating this for a home page, it works really well. Um, it works really well for SaaS. It works really well for pretty much any other business. Um, you will just have to, you know, move things around. Maybe it doesn't have to follow this structure 100% of the time. You can probably move problems somewhere else, move solution up, move testimonials up, create more testimonial sections like, <clears throat> like what we had over here. So that's it for this video, guys. And if you are interested in learning how to actually build or design these pages in Figma, let me know in the comments. I will be releasing a Figma masterclass soon on how to design these sort of pages um, or any other websites, actually. I think we're going to be doing maybe two websites on that course. Um, it will teach you everything that you need to know about Figma, how to design websites, how to design products, how to create components, and everything that you will need to be able to create and master Figma. So guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.